here we have yet another outstanding example of a well-sculpted volcanic glass paleo story stone effigy. This example hails from China. This was sourced in China. And, and it's been sculpted all around the perimeter, flaked around the perimeter very well to form this image. What we have here is a mature mammoth facing left. This former bubble, which is now a hole because of this massive strike that was taken off, is the eye of the mammoth. This is the hair tuft above the head, and this is the trunk coming down, sweeping down in front of the mammoth, now the mammoth facing left. It's made out of really beautiful volcanic glass. It even has a bit of a purple tinge to it, depending on the lighting. And uh, so we see that mammoth now facing left, mature mammoth. However, when we turn it upside down, this is a fairly large piece, when we turn it upside down, now we have a very cool baby mammoth facing right. The, the, the trunk of the baby mammoth is right here, and this is the hair tuft above its head that could be flared out to make the babies look larger uh, uh, to avoid the, uh, and to, uh, to deter predators. But this is a baby mammoth now with his little baby trunk to the lower right, its exaggerated eye, which is the hole there in the glass, and its hair tuft above its head. Outstanding representation there of a baby mammoth. Now, when we turn over on this side, we have another uh, baby mammoth. Baby mammoth now looking off to the left. So there we have a baby mammoth off to the left. And when we flip it upside down here, now we have that mature mammoth. You can see the mature mammoth now facing off to the right with the hair tuft above its head and off to the right and down to the lower right, the large sweeping trunk of the mammoth. Very cool. And the faces on this are excellent as well. Uh, what we have is a, a, a great face right here is the eye. There's the nose and there's the open mouth uh, now facing left. So we have a face now facing left. And then we have another face facing left as well, if you want to use this big strike right there as an eye. Now facing left as well. But this is the eye of the face, the nose and the mouth down here, facing left. We turn it over here. We have the face now. And you can see the eye when held up to the light because you can see the bubble coming through from the other side. That's the eye, and then the nose off to the right, and the open mouth down below. So we have the faces that are required on a story stone effigy, and also great mammoth images. And this is a really fantastic mammoth image right there. Right there, beautiful image right there, facing left. And these were made to stand upright. And really what a fine sculpture. Another great paleo story stone effigy from China.